and welcome to Ask Me About K-Pop, the essential guide for recent converts and seasoned fans alike. My name is Shannon. And I'm Angelica. And it's time to play games again. Yay, more K-pop parlor games. What game are we playing today, Shannon? Today we're going to play a classic road trip game that my daycare counselors loved to play with us when they were just trying to kill 15 (laughs) minutes. And that game is 20 questions. Great, 20 questions. If you are unfamiliar with the rules of 20 questions, they are very, very simple. True. One person will think of a person, place, or or doesn't have to be a person, place, or thing. That's usually the question. They'll think of something. Mm-hmm. And the other person gets 20 yes or no questions to try to figure out what that thing is. Yes. And the goal is to ask only yes or no questions. But you, as depending on how specific the thing that you're thinking of is, you, as the person who's being questioned, can give as much information as you want. Right. There's really no rule as to, like... You know, if it's a yes, but or no, but whatever, like you can add caveats. Yeah. And I think I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous today. (laughs) I think we, there's a chance we might have to amend the rules or change them as we go on because we both challenged each other to think of really specific stuff Uh because we thought if we were just like, oh, like, uh, me, no, like then we'd probably get there very quickly. Mm -hmm. So like. We should probably think of weirder stuff, right. but it might be too weird. I don't I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. Okay. Oh, wait, can I go get a pen too? Yeah, of course you or can. Or wait, I might have one in my purse. All right. So yeah, we have all of our we have all of our possible Topics. answers written in little notebooks and we also have some wine. Some wine. Because all party games must have, have wine. party drinks. <sighs> and because right. it's not AMAK unless we have like one episode a month in which we're drinking <laughs> wine. <laughs> hey, that's just who, that's just who we are. It's part of our brand. Um, OK, who want? do you want to go first or like, should we flip a coin? Let's or? flip a coin or play rock, paper, scissors. Can we buy you both? Yes. Yeah. Are we doing one, two, three, shoot? Kawi bawi bo. You win. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So, okay. You you won. So, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go? I will. I will. You can ask the first questions. I'll. Pick okay. The you first will pick the thing. first topic. Okay. I got it. Go ahead. Okay. I'll start with: Is this a person, place, or thing? Yes. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't answer my question. You said yes or no question. I said, is this a person, place, or thing? That's not a yes or no question. I can't, I, you can't tell me person, place, or thing? You can't tell I me I thought the you word just, person, see, that's what thing. I thought the, I thought the point of this game but was you to say yes. person, place, or thing as the example of, fine, is it a person? No. Okay. Okay, so that's my first question. It's not a person. Is it a... Hairstyle? No. Is it a song? No. Is it a choreography? No. A moment in a music video? No. This is going to be really hard. See, I'm telling you, that's six questions already, and you have nothing. I have no idea. It's going to be hard. Okay, okay, okay. It's (laughs) it's not a person. Is it a place? No. Uh, But thing is too general. I know. Is it a piece of clothing or a costume? No. Fuck. You can't give me any caveats to these notes. <laughs> I guess I could. We could go. Uh, we could like we could go back. We could try another. Um, that's why I thought it would. Be, we'd have to like figure this out as we went because I was thinking this. We're not gonna get very far because we were being so odd so with our specific. choices. <clears throat> and I picked Is something an really simple. Joke? No. Oh, it's something simple. Like, it's not of any everything on my list. This is a very straightforward thing. Is it? Did I already ask if it was a specific song? Yes. And it is not a song. It is. I'll, I'll here. I'll give you because you're nine questions deep. It is a living thing, but it is not a person. Oh, is it? Um, is it an idol's pet? Yes. Is it Tobin? No. Is it Boo? No. Is it Chuan's cats? No. Is it any of Monsta X's cats? No. <laughs> is it Comde and Garcon? No, but you're getting closer. Is it Rue? No. God damn it. 
You have four questions left. <laughs> okay, so it is a, a specific idol's pet. Yes. And Comde and Garçon is getting closer. I guess in in but it's the not look, Rue. the look in of the, the look, the look of the animal. But both Tobin and Buku Puppy are both little poodles. Sure, but so you're is not. It Sogum? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's Hyuna and Hyojong's dog Sogum. <laughs> that was like the least, like, because that's the only thing on my list that is straightforward. Like, yeah, there is yeah. the dog. Everything else is like something, something, something. Right, 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 right. See, this is gonna be rough. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll See what happens. We'll okay. See what happens. You okay. did get that one in like eighteen questions. So I that's I made something. it within. I mean, we had twenty questions. I think Should it's we okay. be keeping score of any kind? Like, sure, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I have one. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I I I honestly like a lot of my options. So okay, I I choose. I choose one. I have one. You're locked in. Okay. Does this thing have anything to do with any of your of your biases or bias groups? It involves one of my bias groups, but none of my bias members. Okay. See how I gave so much more than just a no. (laughs) I thought that was a yes or no question. I thought that's what the <laughs> rules are. I'll be more helpful next time. Okay. I still got it under 20 questions. No worries. Um, Just okay. teasing you. Okay. Uh, is it an item of clothing? It is not. Uh, is it an inside joke of some kind? Uh, it is not an inside joke, but we have talked and joked about it on the show. Okay. Uh, uh, is it, is it like a moment from something? It is a moment in K-pop history. Okay. A moment in K-pop history. Um, does it, would it have anything to do with any like ships? Mm Mm-hmm. You could say that. Yes. Is it that Myers candy performance we talked about last week? It is not. It is not a... It's not a performance. Okay. Or a song. Is it like a quote? <laughs> no, it's a moment in time, I guess. <laughs> it's like something time. that would be on a time on like a K-pop history timeline, depending on which histories you were <laughs> timelining out. Does it have to do with someone like leaving something? No. No. But there was outrage. <sighs> okay. Bias group is involved. It's a moment. A moment in history that may have caused outrage. Outrage. And it is possibly related to a ship. Possibly related to a ship. Is it like the troublemaker kiss? No. Okay. But you're getting warmer. I'm getting warmer. Okay. Moment, moment in time. It is a scandal. Scandal, scandal. Uh, is it Mino and Changming being dis- uh, being uh, uh, mistaken for a couple on vacation? No, but when did that happen? We've been over <laughs> this before. There was pictures when Mino had really long hair and like he was out with Changmin and people got like paparazzi pictures and were like, who is this girl <laughs> that he's out with? And it was Mino. I know I've showed you them before. I, I honestly know I don't have. think you have. I know it's I have. And every time I tell you, you react like this. You react like, what? I've never heard of this. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've definitely showed it to you. Okay, so okay, it's I believe not you, but it's that. not that. Because <laughs> apparently I never remember. <laughs> remember that <laughs> you erase it from your mind um okay they would make a cute couple um is it is it just like something as broad and simple as like hyana and you got fired from cube it is not that okay it is similar to that in a lot of ways and it can be summarized in one word. It has like a name. 
this event. Oh my God. She's looking at me with sparkly puppy eyes and I truly, you're the one who told me about this thing. This thing. Here on this podcast is where I heard about it for the very first time. Moment in a... Uh, Oreo gate. Yes! Oh! All right. That's exactly right. It was Oreo Gate, which if you have not listened to our Valentine's Day episode episode from last year, Oreo Gate was a scandal between Baekhyun and Taeyeon of EXO and Girls' Generation, respectively, when the world found out that they were dating. Yep. Great. That was a good one. Thank you. (laughs) All right. Now I'm going to try to be more helpful. I swear to God. Okay. Okay. (laughs) One word answers. (laughs) I won't do that anymore. Okay. I have picked something I am locked in. Okay. Is this a person? Technically, no. Oh, technically, no. Interesting. I would maybe say it's a character. Okay. It is a a character. Is it like a persona or an alter ego? No. Hmm. But it is a character. Is it related to a specific company? Sure. Sure. I mean, <laughs> I would say it's more... Either a yes or a no. <laughs> no. I, I think maybe for that question, the answer would be no. It's not like a company mascot or something. No. Okay. Okay. It's a character. Hmm. Um, does the character sing? No. Is it... Played or portrayed by someone famous? Not that I know of. Hmm. <laughs> I have no reason to believe that it is. <clears throat> um, is this a character that either of us feel very strongly about? I don't think so. <laughs> oh. But it's a character. I'm very I feel like that's the only way to okay, describe that's it. that's the only way to, to say that it is a character. Um... Does this character have merchandise or a TV show? No. No. Are they on commercials? No. Oh, is it the puppet from Dancing King? You're you're warmer for sure. Okay. With that answer, but like But no. Don't don't focus on it too much, but like yes, that is close it like generally that's closer than anything you've said so far. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Um, Are any of our bias groups involved? I wouldn't say bias groups, but it's a group that we enjoy. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That's similar to the Dancing King puppet. I would say similar in that it also, like, stars in a music video. This character also stars in a music video of a group... That we enjoy. Mm-hmm. But it's not a bias group. I mean, I don't know. We might have claimed them as a bias group before. I don't I I don't know about that. Oh. I mean we definitely like Girl them. group or boy group? Girl group. Hmm. Is it the cat? No, oh no. They wouldn't, we would never have listed them as a bias group. I was going to say, is it the cat that's always in two anyone videos? <laughs> no. um, it's a girl group? Yes. Well, now I'm confused because I feel like I I never claim any girl groups as my biases. Um, and now I'm trying to think of like characters. I'm like, mm, Mamamoo? Two, um, now I'm just thinking of girl groups. Mamamoo, twice. Uh, Red Velvet? No, they don't have characters in their music videos. Um, it's uh, is this group? Because I'm gonna try to start getting to it from. Okay. So it's it's something that's in a music video. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Is this a group from one of the big three companies? Yes. Are they an SM group? Yes. Is it Girls Generation? No. Oh. Is oh. You have yes. said their name already at some point, but not in the form. So of Red Velvet. Yes. Is it the flower guy? Yeah! Yeah! Because we saw him at the SM Museum. Yeah, we saw him on the bicycle. 
musical. Does Amazing. That, does that make sense? Yes. I love it. Yeah, it was Great the job. flower man from the rookie music video. Because <laughs> it's, I get it's a character, and I don't know if it's a person. Yeah, it's just flowers. No, totally, one hundred percent. I was going to guess the guy in the lion heart, the lion. Oh, mask. that's, that's why also I said generation. okay. Good one. No character in music video. I like it. I like it. I I am already ready to go. I have a topic okay. in my head. Uh, all right. Um, is this a person place? Like, this is a noun person placer thing. Uh, it is a noun. Um, it is not. It is a thing, I guess. Okay. But directly, a, a person is attached to it. Okay, so is it an article of clothing? It is not an article of clothing. Okay, it's a thing, and a person is attached to it. Um, is it a thing like a like? Is it like a tattoo? No. Okay. It is not a permanent thing. Not a permanent thing. Um, is it something? Is it something that like an idol owns, like a car? Mm. No. Um. Does it? Does it have anything to do with any biases or bias groups? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hold on, I dropped my pen down. <laughs> Um, thing. Okay. Um, is it like, is it a more, ab is it a very abstract thing or is it like a concrete thing? No, it's thing? a very concrete, specific thing that we've talked about a lot. Okay. A specific, concrete thing that we have talked about a lot that is mm -hmm. like <clears throat> attached to someone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Physically attached, but temporary. Is it like an earrings? <laughs> no, <laughs> but you're getting closer. You're getting closer. Is it like fake, someone's fake glasses? <laughs> no, it's not an accessory. Okay. It's not removable in that sense. You can change it, but you can't just take it off. Um, is it Mino's celebrity hair? You're very close, but no. Is it Jong's cotton candy hair? You're getting further away. Shit. But it is a hairstyle. Okay. Is it Mino's ring ding dong mullet? You're very close, but no. <laughs> I guess I could have done a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, what is close? Uh, Lucifer baby bangs. Yes! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's, I wrote Mino's baby bangs. <laughs> Great. Great. Good job. Good job. Um, okay, let me look, let me peek at my list. Decide what to do next. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got one. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I have to ask you questions. Yeah. Um, I was staring at She's you waiting dancing. for me to begin. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay. Is this a, a person, a person, place, or thing? I guess it's technically a thing. Okay. It's a thing. Um, is it a thing that is directly related or connected to a specific person? Yes. Okay. Uh, a specific person, not a group. Person. Okay. Specific person. Is it a hairstyle? No. Is it a piece of clothing? No. Is it an animal? No. Is it a possession? Like I don't some, think a thing so. that they own? No. No. Okay, but it is a thing and it is about a specific person. <clears throat> it's not a hairstyle or a costume or a thing that they own. Is it a characteristic about a person? No. Is I it, mean, or like a talent of no. someone's? Okay. Um, but it is a thing. Is it a, like a habit? No. Is it a tangible object? It's tangible. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I would describe it as an object. It's oh. so weird to be asked these questions and trying to decide what applies oh, to it, things. It might not be an object. Hmm. It might not be an object. That has thrown a wrench into my deductions. <laughs> it might not be an object. Because I feel like, isn't the definition of like an object like something you, something can, like you can hold, hold in your hand? It's Then it's definitely not an object. It is not something that you can hold. Then it's, but it's not, then it's not a tangible thing. I mean, I don't. I, is I don't it concrete know. or abstract? It is concrete. It's not abstract. 
But you cannot hold it in your hands. No, you could not hold it in your hands. Is it something that you like watch? Is it like a TV show or like no. someone's social media presence? Mm-mm. Hmm. This specific person, a uh, boy or girl? It's a boy. Okay, it's a boy. The thing about a boy. Mm-hmm. Is this boy one of our biases? It's one of yours. It's one of my biases. I mean, I guess I claim him a little bit, but you claim him the most. Is it Chanyol? Yes. Okay. It has something to do with Chanyol. Hmm. Something about him, but you cannot hold it. Oh, is it Chanyol's tattoos? It's a specific one. Pick one. Oh, uh, ooh, the, the monkey one. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> I wrote Chanyol's monkey tattoo. Love that's it. That's what it was. And when you asked if it was an animal, I wanted to be like, it's of an animal. <laughs> but then I thought that would be giving it away too fair much. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That would be that would be giving it away. Okay. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I know. Okay. I know what it is. Okay. Locked in. Person, place, or thing? Thing, I suppose. Thing, I suppose. Um... Tangible thing or more a mere idea of a thing? Mm, you cannot hold it, but it's not an abstract idea. Okay. Is this like a characteristic of a person's, of a person? Of a person. No, it is not. Okay. It's more of a, I mean, it is a noun, but it's also a verb. <laughs> it's it's not really a verb. Interesting. Interesting. Um is it like a dance move? Uh yes. Okay. Okay. I have one of those on my list too. I wonder if it was the same I would die. Um okay. Does it have uh like bo- boy girl girl group? Dan- boy group. Boy group dance. Is this something that's like iconic or just something we like? Or neither. Uh, sort of both. Sort of both. I, I guess it's not. It's not iconic. No, it's iconic to us. Okay. Is it the lucky one dance that EXO's been shitting all over? Yes. What? Oh my god! That one in six <laughs> questions. Uh, if you didn't hear, fucking EXO. <laughs> Said they don't like the lucky one choreography, and we're very sad if, by that. If you have been keeping up with us from the beginning, then you will know that the the point in our lives in which we started to fall for EXO was when they performed Lucky One. Um, and because the choreography for it is so amazing. Mm-hmm. And recently EXO went on this show called Stage K, which is basically a really cool show where like groups from around the world cover a specific group's choreography and then they get to perform it in front of the group so they were asking them like what what are your favorite and least favorite choreographies and all of the six members of EXO that happened to be there including Kai named Lucky One as their least favorite choreography of anything they've ever done because it's hard and your body hurts when you do it and fuck you EXO <laughs> I've never felt so betrayed I know that was it was like it was like saying like hearing them <laughs> Just it was like hearing a, them say that they like hate your favorite child or something like it yeah. was horrible. A dagger to the heart. Dagger but now it like heart. makes perfect sense why they've like never done it in concert and why they spend that time just running around because they like hate it. But that makes me so sad. This is this is why I'll never never really love you. They know what they've done. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck boys to the end, those <laughs> bastards. Yeah. Um. Okay. Please okay. come to KCON. Yeah, please. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm, okay, I think I know which one I'm going to do now. Okay. Okay. Uh, so my turn to ask questions I think now. so. Um, <clears throat> okay, is this a person, place, or thing? It's a thing. A thing. Is it a concrete thing or an abstract A thing? concrete thing. Okay. It's a concrete thing. Is it, um, a piece of clothing or hairstyle yes it's a piece of clothing Mm -hmm. oh okay is this a um 
piece of clothing that we have seen in the last, like recently, or is this like an old, like iconic piece of clothing? I feel like this particular type of piece of clothing hasn't shown itself in at least a year or so. Mm -hmm. It's not old, but it might, it might have thankfully gone away. If oh. that gives you any. Is it those crazy garter pants? No. Okay. Is it a piece of clothing that multiple idols wore that was like starting to get popular or is it, do you associate it with one specific person? I associate it with one. I think we would uh, associate it with one specific person, but I believe we have seen it a on couple multiple of times. People. Um, <clears throat> is, do we associate it with a boy or a girl? A boy. Okay. There's an item of clothing that we associate with a boy. And I've also implied that we don't like it, if that hasn't been okay. clear. I, like, I, I figured, I figured when you said that hopefully it's gone, I, I figured that you, you meant you didn't like it. An item of clothing that we associate with a particular boy that has hopefully gone away. Is it a pair of pants? No. Hmm. It's not a hairstyle. It's not an accessory, right? It's like a piece of clothing. I mean, maybe it's maybe technically it's an both accessory. of those things. A hairstyle and an accessory? I shrug. Oh, is it is it like hair extensions, like, like dreadlocks? Close, really close. Ex You're so close. Oh! We associate it with a specific person. Is this person from SM? Yeah. My main, my f the two main thoughts are one Exos, I mean Kai's dreads from Coco Bop, and then my other one is like Chen's weird, like dreaded mullet from mm. Tempo. But I'm gonna guess it's neither of those. It's things. neither of those things. But mm. I'd say like take that general spirit <laughs> and apply it to a different member of EXO. A different member of EXO. Is it Bakyun's Cocoa Bop mullet? No. Oh. While, while the hair is important, the accessory itself is actually the most important the, thing. The, the, oh. The excess. And we didn't like it. Nope. Is it like a hat of some kind? Uh-huh. Oh, it's a hat. Uh-huh. Is it a bucket hat? Is it Chanyeol's bucket hat? No, that's on my list, but that is not what I'm talking about Those right now. Those haven't gone away, I guess. Um, it's a hat. Yeah. Think about what you were saying about, like, the bad dreadlocks. Right. And a hat. Maybe you've erased this from your mind. What Did at some point one of them wear, like, a terrible Rasta hat? No, it wasn't a Rasta hat. Is it from Coco Bop era? No. Oh. Mm, but it's not that old. So is it Tempo era? Before that. It's before Tempo, but after Coco Bop, is it Power? Nope. Oh. Shit. Is it all the way back to, like, Lucky One and Monster era? No. Is it older than that? No. It's newer than that. Yeah. But it is EXO. It's but an, I've listed all of their recent It's an eras. EXO member. Oh. You're not remembering him. I'm not remembering the member? Yeah. Lay? Uh-huh. <laughs> you have one question left. <laughs> it's a hat that he wore. Oh, my God. Mm. It's the hat with the braids. Yes! It's the hat with the braids! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got that on the last <laughs> possible question. But I still got it. But you got still it. got it. I still got it. <laughs> You're right. That is a terrible, terrible hat. And I haven't seen those in a while. Yeah. So thank God. No more Ugh. hats with no braids. No more hats with braids. And he wore like three different ones in that music video. I'm gonna. I'm crossing off Chanel's bucket hat too, since okay. you, since you guessed it out of turn. Like now it's in the now it's in the wind. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um... Okay, we've done a lot of, um, I, I'm trying to think of, okay, I have something. Okay. I have something. It is, 
It is not SM related. Okay. <laughs> That's your first clue. First clue. Not <laughs> SM related. They felt bad all of ours were. A lot of mine are too. That's what's at the front of my mind. I know. We okay. are who we are. So does this have something to do with 17? It does not. It does not. Um, does it have to do with a group that one or one of us stands in some way? Yes. Yes. Okay. Who does that leave? Um, I'm going to make a really, really out of the blue guess. Okay. Is it Spica's fake butts? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just thought, like, like maybe I could get really lucky and get, get I have it done. Something in very less similar to that on my list, but okay, th- this okay, is, that is not what I'm currently okay. thinking of. So, what was your initial? It has nothing to do with SM. It has nothing to do with seventeen. Yeah, but it does Those have something to do with a slight with some kind of a group that one a of us group that stands. one of us stands. Um, is this is it recent? Um, I'd say like last two years is recent. It has recently become important to you. <laughs> it's recently become important to me. But it's, I would say it's been around for at least two decades. Something that has <laughs> just become interesting to me. That's been around at least two decades. Oh dear. That's... <laughs> That makes me nervous. That was, a, that was a tricky clue. I'm proud of myself I like for that it. one. <laughs> um, does it have anything to do with Monstax? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, does it have anything to do with any of Monstax's pets? No, it does not. Um, does it have to do with a member specifically? Yes. Okay. Does it have to do with one of my biases? Yes. Um, is it like Chunkyun's pretty earrings? It is not that, but it is a similar item or sim- similar. Th- item is the wrong word. It is similar to that. Okay. But no. Um, what? So is it like, is it clo- is clothing? Is it something it's worn? It's not clothing. Not clothing. Is it like something inherent to someone's personality? Mm, no, you can see it. Something you can see. Is it Juan's dimples? Yes, it is! Oh! <laughs> I love this game. This is so fun. Oh, that's so fun. Okay. Oops. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Go. Um, does this thing, or pers- whatever, does the thing that you're thinking about have anything to do with one of our bias groups? Yes. Quite great. One of my bias groups or your bias groups or our bias groups? I will go ahead. I'm going to, I'll give you the clue that this doesn't have to do with the group. Okay. It has to do with an individual person. Okay. And I think we both have strong feelings toward this, this person. person. Okay. And it is specific about it is it has to do with a specific person. So yes. is it a physical characteristic of that of theirs? No. Is it an internal characteristic of theirs, like something inherent to their personality? No. Is it a specific hairstyle or item of clothing of theirs? It is an it is an item. It is an item. I don't know if I would call it clothing. Oh, okay, but it is an item. Mm-hmm. Is it like you don't know if you'd call it clothing because you think it's ugly or because because it like isn't something that you wear? I won't say that it isn't something you wear. Oh. But I don't know if it's it would be inherently considered clothing. Clothes? Okay. 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 I don't know. It is about a specific person that we both like. And it's something that you can wear, mm-hmm. but it is not a piece of clothing per se. Sure. So is it like an accessory? Yeah, let's say it's an accessory. Hmm. Uh, is it an item of jewelry? No. Does this person wear it every day? No. No. Did they only wear it on one specific occasion? Yes. Okay, and it was an accessory. 
of some kind ish. Mm-hmm. Is this person a boy or a girl? It is a boy. Are they from SM? Nope. Oh. But we both feel strongly about him. Yes. I think we do. Hmm. We both feel strongly. Is he... Uh, I feel like I need to start figuring out who this person is. Um, okay, so is, is I'm assuming he's a member of a boy group. Is it someone in 17? No. Is it someone in Monster X? No. It's not a soloist, is it? No. No. Okay. Is it someone from 2 p.m.? Mm-mm. Uh, who else do we like? Um, is it someone from Astro? No. Hmm. What did I say? Monster X, 2 p.m., 17, Astro. I don't know. What groups do we like? Shiny and XO and TVXQ are all SM. Icon? No. I don't know anything about them anyway, so I don't know why I would um, even put that out Before there. you run out of questions, I'll just put out that, like, this has to do with a very specific thing, like, one... I I hesitate to name it all the way. Like one thing that we have spoken about on this show a lot, something that we both enjoy a lot. It's like a very specific thing that like only happened once. It's a very specific thing that only happened once to a boy who is not from SM, but is someone we feel strongly about. And it is an accessory. <laughs> yeah, but it only so. happened once. <laughs> yeah. Did it happen on like a live stage? Uh-huh. Yes. It's a it now that you've said it, it's a performance that we care very deeply about. And an accessory that was worn in said performance. Is it we? Yes. I wanna say it has to do with sw- Oh, is it Sequees blindfold? Yeah! <laughs> Because, like, a blindfold isn't closed. No, Anything you're so right. can and be it's, a blindfold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just absolutely. what you put over your eyes. Totally. That one was that felt hard for good me. Good one. That I one was tough. Describe that it. But, yes, the blindfold Love from it. Swim Good. <laughs> swim, swim good. I feel like we should be playing music in the background. I know. Maybe I need to just put some, like, bedding music gently at the Yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> just put, like, some random, random stuff. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, I got one. Okie dokie. Uh, does this have to do with someone or something that we... I mean, no, I think that's all of the things that have to do with something or someone we like. That's the point. Um, is this, like... Is it, a, is it a thing? It is a thing. But you cannot hold it. It is not an object. Okay. Um, is it? Is it like the? Hmm, can't hold it. Is it something like someone's voice, like something that abstract? Oh no, no, it is not. Okay. Um, is it a? Is it a characteristic of someone or something? No, no. Can't hold it. It's not a characteristic. Um, is is it something you is it something you can see? Mm-hmm. Okay. It is something you can both see and do. Okay. Is it a dance or a dance move or something to do with the dance? Yes. Okay. Is it an iconic dance? Yes. Is it from the last five years? No. SM? No. Okay. I I don't know what company. Don't know what company. Girl group? Yes. Sister leg dance? No. Sim, am I on? Am I warm? Um, you're not freezing. I'm not freezing. Okay. So I'm guessing like this is possibly either a song or a specific iconic move that mm-hmm. was done by a girl group in the past. Yes, it is an iconic move. 
iconic move that we love. That we love. Uh, the girl like praise Girls' Day expectation suspender dance. No, no. Something we love and praise, but we don't. You don't know our company. It's older than five years ago. <sighs> this particular dance move was a craze when it happened. A craze. Oh God! What are the crazes? I'm like fully blanking because like all I can think of is like Mr. and expectation and like alone. And I can't. Think I will of give you dances. a hint. Okay. In that we recently talked about it. We recently talked about it. In the last five episodes of our podcast. We talked about 21 recently. And I can't I feel like I'm not thinking of 21. You they know, don't have shaking your head. No, moves. yeah, they don't have iconic iconic dance moves. Watched a bunch of stuff last week. Bunch of 2009 stuff. You're nodding your head. You're getting warmer. I'm getting warmer. Iconic. The Bo Peep dance. No. No. You were closer with the suspender thing. I was closer with the suspender thing. It's not cute. It's not cute. <laughs> oh no. Abra the abracadabra arrogant dance. Yeah! Yay! That's exactly what I was thinking. A little crossed arm hip move. Love it. Okay. All right. Uh, the one I wanted to do next is probably too similar to something else I've done, so. That's it. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. Okay. I you have it. one? Yeah. Okay. Is. Phone call, phone call, phone call, phone call, phone. No, I'm not oh. at work. <laughs> um, Is this something you can hold or touch? You can touch it. You can touch it. Hmm. Such a, such a baby. Um, it is something you can touch. Okay. Is it uh, tied to a specific person? No. Okay. But it is something you can touch. Yeah. Is it um, like a piece of merch or something that you can buy? No. No, it is not something you can buy. Mm -mm. It is something you can touch. It is not associated with a specific person. Is it associated with a specific group? Not, I would say it's, I think you would associate it with many groups, honestly. With many groups. Is it something that is like inherent to the um, K-pop fan culture? No. Okay, so it's not like a light stick or something. No. Um... It is something you can touch that is related to all groups. Not all groups. Several groups. Many groups. But it's not inherent to the fan culture, so it can't be any of the regular fan items. No. But it's something you can touch. It's not something you can buy. Is it... No, it's something you can touch. <laughs> hmm. I can tell you that it's something that you have. I'll, here, I'll say this is something that you've seen many times, but you probably haven't seen it in quite a while. I can't think of a time I've seen it. It might be gone. It might be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I swear this will make sense when you know um, what it is. But it's something you can touch. Is it something that idols do? No. Is it something that they have or mm. wear? Mm -mm. And we haven't seen it in a while. Not that I can think of. Uh, 
You don't associate it with a specific person or group. Is it bigger than a bread box? Yes. <laughs> well, that's like classic 20 questions question. I forgot about how classic that um, one is. Does yes. it come in lots of different colors? No. It only comes in one color. It is a, it is like, I don't know if it's one of a kind, but like it is a thing. It exists in a specific, like it exists in a specific context. Is it something like that, like a lot of idols have, because it's something like the walk of fame or something like idols get a star? No. No. Is it like a music show trophy? No. Hmm. Is it, okay, it's bigger than a bread box. Is it smaller than this table? No, I think it's bigger than this table. Oh. It's bigger than this table. Hmm. Is it portable? Probably. But it it is, it, it, it as long as we know it, <laughs> its life was very stationary. Its life was very stationary. Its life was very stationary. <laughs> This sounds so crazy. <laughs> but it's something you could. Was it like featured on a TV show? Is it something it that might have been on TV once like, or twice? <laughs> um, it's not a specific color. It is a specific color, but it is only one color. I think it's two colors. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, what do I know so far? I know that this is a thing that you can touch mm. that is larger than this table and largely stationary. Mm. It is perhaps only two colors, and it is associated with lots of different groups. But it hasn't happened in a while, whatever it is, or we haven't seen it around in a while. Mm -hmm. It's not a TV show, so it can't be like a segment of something. No. And it's not something that's intrinsic to the fan culture, so. I have no idea. Is it, ugh, I can't even think of other questions to ask. Is it like a place that you go or a thing that you do? It resides in a very specific place, which is why you have why it would be associated with many groups and why you would have seen it multiple times but not seen it anymore because the place that it is in might might not be a place where people go anymore i'm not sure or if it's just been removed from the space hmm <laughs> it's iconic it's iconic it's iconic i want to say it's like a thing that people like take pictures with or something i don't I, I don't believe that it is accessible to the public in any way like this is a thing that only idols that, the, have access that only to? the idols would have had access to and i don't think and other than one specific example that i'm thinking of i don't think people interacted with it much it just stayed where it was <laughs> <laughs> It just stayed where it was. I feel like I have to concede this one. I, I have no okay, idea. That's okay. It's the SM Blue Sky backdrop that used oh, to live in the practice room. Oh, okay. Good one. Good one. <laughs> Good one. I can't believe that I had that I that one stumped you. Yeah, you stumped me. That one was tough. Cause it's really like a wall. Yeah, but place. it was like a roll. It was yeah, yeah, a yeah. roll up backdrop. And yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing I was thinking of is in the growl music video, Kai goes behind it uh -huh. and it's like all or in the practice. Kai goes yeah, behind yeah, yeah. it and it's all like ruffling. But yes. otherwise it just stayed it back just there. It stayed in the back. But I think they got rid of it or moved buildings because I haven't seen it in years. Yes. But it used to be in the background of every dance every practice Every single video. dance practice. Absolutely. Before they made those professional ass dance videos that they make now. Um, good one. Good one. <laughs> So sorry. To I've have been stumped. stumped. You. I've been stumped. Um, okay, I have one. Okay. Um, I decided to think of a very tricky one. Okay, good. No, please. And now I feel like I deserve to be tricked. <laughs> um, 
Is this a prison blizzer thing? I guess technically it's a thing. Technically it's a thing. Does it have something to do with a boy? Yes. Yes. Like a specific boy. Yes. Okay. But he's not alone. Okay. It is not only to do with this one boy. Okay. 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 So this is a thing that could be, is this a thing that you can own, like something that you can own, like a tangible thing? You can purchase it. Okay. But you cannot hold it in your hand. You can purchase it, but you can't hold it in your hand. Okay. It's like an experience. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I guess. Yeah, sure. You experience it. Okay. I guess. You can't hold it in your hand. Is it a car? No, you mm. cannot touch it. You can't touch it. You purchase it, but you can't touch it. And it technically is an experience. Is it like a haircut? <laughs> like that's, a, <laughs> that's something you experience and buy. No. <laughs> but I guess you could touch your haircut. Yeah. Um, what's something you can buy but can't touch? What are things that you buy? You never buy this. I buy this all the time. I never buy it. Very rarely. And you always buy it? Because we... Because we're participate different. Participate differently in K-pop, Because I we're suppose. different. <laughs> because we're different people. <laughs> I don't know. I buy songs on iTunes. I buy albums. I buy concert tickets. Mm. Okay, then I guess it's something I, I probably do more often than you do. Okay. Um... Is it like, like someone's digital single? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, oh shit. Like a specific one. It's a song. It's a and song. the people that are on, that made this song only did this one song together. The people that made the song. Okay. So it's not CBX because there's more than, there's more than one. Mm -hmm. Um... Is it We Young? No. No. They're about to make more. Right. But it would still technically count for now. That sure. Was one. That's true. Okay. Somebody who only did something once. And you bought it. No, I didn't buy it. Oh, you didn't. I just, I, that was the clue to get you to guess that it was a song. Oh, okay. Because I, you usually listen to stuff on Spotify and I always buy stuff on iTunes. Uh. My strategy is to listen to stuff on Spotify till I want yeah. to buy it <laughs> so that my phone doesn't get crowded. Buying is the second step of appreciating <laughs> something. Fair enough. Um, okay. So it's a song, a one-time song. Mm -hmm. so, Are there less than five people involved? Yes. Is it two people? Yes. Okay. So it's a duo of some kind, mm -hmm. a one-time duo. Mm -hmm. That you enjoyed. One time duo. Uh, you enjoyed it too. You, I would say, enjoyed it more than I did. I enjoyed it more. You might even own this song. I certainly don't. I'm literally open. <laughs> Start, get, I think that the main, if you figure out who's involved, you'll okay. figure out who it is. Uh, are anybody that we, like from our actual strict bias list involved? Ooh, who's on our strict like bias if we've list. talked about like in either of the biased episodes of this podcast were any participants in the song brought up no no okay but we do love this group we do love the group the original group that one of these members is from but you're right none of our biases are from this group despite always talking about how much we love them wow Hmm. I never really noticed that before. That's interesting. I, I, we should have. We should talk about why that is. <laughs> Once you figure out who this group is, we should. We is should it Myers that. Candy? 
No. Okay. But that like is the second time you've guessed like, that. Oh, and <laughs> it just keeps, it's just in there. Um, um, but you're warm. I'm warm. Okay. There's, that's a 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. A 2 p.m. and a trot singer. And I guess mm-hmm. we technically have no official. We have no deep official 2 biases. biases. From 2 p.m. 2 p.m. is the correct group. Okay. So this is a duet, a one-time duet. Is it like holding hands, Wu Young and Se Young? Shut yes! up! Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited! <gasps> I so got it. For those of you who aren't aware, our dear Wu Young from 2 PM, he was one of our most favorite We Got Married couples with this actress named um, Park Se Young. Thank you, Park Se Young. Mm-hmm. And the two of them put out a duet called Holding Hands or Two Hands Intertwined, depending on which version you but. hear, which translation. Um, but yeah, they came out with a little song and it's a really cute little duet. Yay. Okay. I know <laughs> you know what you, you're yeah. going to do? Okay. Um, is this a thing that you can hold? Not alone. It's. I think it's. I would say it's whatever it is. Is too, it's, it's too, too big heavy. or too, too heavy or too for heavy one for person, one to, person hold. to hold. Mm, okay. Um, is it associated with a specific group or person? Yes, specific yes. person. A specific person. But it is a thing. Yeah. And this thing is too big to hold. Is it an object that this person purchased? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Is it possible they received it as a gift? Maybe. I, it's possible. I don't know how they acquired it. Oh, okay. But it is a thing. But it's purchasable. It is it's purchasable. It's not like a thing you're born with. Right, right, right. And it's too big. So is it like Chanyol's car? It is. I would say it's probably smaller than Chanyol's car. But like uh, so-and-so's apostrophe S. Something. That's a good. That's a good start. It's someone's something someone's something okay let me start by figuring out who this person is maybe um since so far i know that the object at least is something that can be held by multiple people it's a heavy object that's smaller than chanyol's car okay um is this a boy or a girl it belongs to a boy belongs to a boy okay um is this boy from one of our bias groups Ish. Ish. Like, I don't know. I feel like, I I mean, if we ranked, they wouldn't be at the bottom, but I don't think we would name them. Name them a bias group. Yeah. Hmm. Are they from one of the big three? Yes. But they're not at the, okay. Uh, Are they from SM? Yeah. But they're not. Oh, uh, is it TVXQ? Yes. Okay. Is that fair? Was that fair totally. to say that? One hundred percent. Definitely we not like one them of our just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't not put it at the top group, for sure. Agreed. <laughs> um, okay. Is it, is it Yuno's dining room table? Yes. yes! All right, we've been at it an hour. One, one more each. Okay, one more, one more each. Let me see. Let me see. Let me. Does that seem fair? I don't remember who started. Absolutely, it seems fair. Okay. Unless you feel like there's ones you really need to do, I'm fine with. I only have four more left on my list that I haven't touched. Oh, I have a lot on my list that I haven't done, but they're they're like kind of similar. Um. Oh, you know what? This is... I I know what I'm... I got it. Okay. Is this a person? Or to do... Is this having to do with a specific person? Mm, It does not have to do with a specific person, no. Does it have to do with, like, many an idol? Yes. Okay. Um... 
Is it something inherent to the K-pop industry? Um, I think you could argue that it has become a very important piece of the K-pop industry. Does it have to do with social media? No. No. So it's not like someone's Instagram. No, it's also not associated with a specific person. Okay. Um, is it something that you watch? You can watch it, yes. You can watch it, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it is meant to be watched. Meant to be watched. Okay. It doesn't have to do with social media, so it's not like Instagram Live or Be Live or something. Mm, but it's become part of the industry. Um, is your example something very specific or is it, or is this kind of broad? Uh, it's, I'm not thinking of like a specific episode of something. Okay. I'm thinking of something a little bit, no, it's, it's more general than it is super, super specific. Okay. Is it like a two times dance? Close. Close to a two times dance. A random play dance. No, but no, close. No, but close. A roller coaster dance? No, but close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oh, those M2 relay dance yeah, videos. That's All exactly right. what it is. I got it. <laughs> okay. Um, since I started, I'm going to do this one and I'll let you do one more and then we can play. Oh, okay, game. sure. Cause you have more and I want, I feel like I got that one too fast, but here's truly this. You is did my get last that one faster than I thought you would. So truly I thought this is, I was going to stab you. <laughs> this is my last one for okay. reals. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, is this associated with a specific idol or group? Yes. Idol or group. This can be a second question. Uh, bo both. Both. Okay. Um, is it something? Hmm, is it a object? No. Okay. Is it a general like style or aesthetic? I guess it depends on how you view it. That's a very general question. No. Um, Okay. I think anything could be an aesthetic. You could be like, this bubbly can is my aesthetic if you want it, right? Like, my, yeah, I guess that's true. But I, that's not how I would categorize it at all. Okay. So it is something that has to do with an entire group and a, no, you're shaking your head. I would say not, it doesn't have to do with an entire group, but the person or persons involved are from the same group. Mm, okay. Did I already, and I already asked if it was an object. You did, and it is not an object. It's not an object. Is it, oh, okay, but the people that are involved, is it like a show? No. Is it, um, oh, is it a subunit? No. Hmm. Um, is it a, like, segment or, uh, no, wait, is it? Okay, it has to do with certain people from the same group, but it's not an object and it's not a subunit. Not an object, so it's not like a song. No. Is it something that you can watch? Yeah, technically. You technically. Could you could look at it. Is it ongoing or did it only happen once? It's ongoing. It's ongoing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, boy. Is it something these people do or is it something that they like wear or, yeah, is it something they do or something they wear? Because it's not an object, so it's not something they own. I would say that this thing is, is, um, it's more, in, it's just more inherent being. It's like less. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. It's like I'm try I'm trying to get you to Is it more say a of like a thing? Is it a characteristic of their personalities? Did I already ask that? I guess you could frame it that way. 
you could frame it as being an, as a being characteristic a- of their personalities. Okay, um, let's try to figure out which group this is. Is it one of our bias groups? Yes. Is this bias group from SM? No. Okay, then uh, boy group or girl group? Boy group. Boy group that isn't from SM but is a bias group. So is it 17? Yes. Okay. It's not a subunit, so it's not BSS. No. But it is something inherent about a group of them. Mm -hmm. One or more of them, sure. I don't know. Is it the dangerous beefiness? <laughs> like some of them. No. Is it the way where <laughs> we gotta talk about that one? No, that's it has nothing to do with me, you getting thick. Is it the growing fear that they're gonna start taking their clothes off? <laughs> you know what's gonna happen. No, but I, I but you know what? I could I feel like I could say that I bet there are. That would have been who, a funny one if I wrote down the growing fear that <laughs> seventeen will start taking their tops that's off. That's like very abstract. <laughs> I like it. Um I bet that I bet there are many people in the world that wish this thing took their top that this that there were tops being taken off involved in this, I'm sure. It's not personally my interest in said thing, but is it like a is it like one of the units of 17? Not officially. Not officially. Mm-mm. Does it have something to do with a ship? Yes. Oh, okay. Is it Verquan? Yes, it's Yay! Verquan! Yay! Because we decided, I needed, I just wanted to bring it up, but we discovered the other day when I sent you a gif of them <laughs> that we are Verquan. <laughs> yeah, we are. But my favorite moment about that exchange was that Shannon was like, I think that we're Verquan, but I can't decide who's Boo and who's Vernon. And my immediate response was, you're Boo and I'm Vernon. There's no question about it. How could you even doubt it for a second? <laughs> I guess it was because I like, I I said I didn't feel worthy of being a Boo and you didn't seem vernon enough to me until I started thinking about it more. <laughs> yeah, but it is it's apparent. I love all of the <laughs> my favorite is the gif where Vernon is just like shaking his head and accidentally like smacks Boo with, with his bunny with ears. With his bunny ears because I, I do often accidentally smack you. You that's, do. That's not yeah. a lie. <laughs> I, yeah. That, that's a weird thing because like I don't I, I like we've said a million times I hate inner group shipping. It makes me grossed out. Like, yeah, I don't. But god we damn it I love it the lot. two I love the two of them together. Yeah. I don't I do, I'm not writing fan fiction about how I wish they would kiss, but I love seeing yeah, them together. They're, That's all. They're just a fantastic <laughs> fun duo. duo. Yeah, I love it. I love all the little duos in Seventeen. Yeah, so, so I was trying to find a way to like say like I like it. It's not an official unit, no, but it is. No, you're a right. Unit. It's not an official unit, but it is an established pair. Okay, I said you could do have one more before we play. I have. Games. If I you have, have one, like have one, one that you want to do last, do one. it. Okay. <sighs> Is this thing at all similar to anything else that we've talked about so far? No, actually. Actually, no. Okay. See, I wanted to find a new line of questioning. Mm-hmm. Um, is this something that we've talked about on this podcast? I don't know if we specifically talked about this thing on the podcast, but you and I have certainly talked about it. We have talked about it. Okay. And we have talked about this topic or subject before, but perhaps not this specific. Okay. Um, Item. Is did speci- Oh, okay. Is it is it an item? Is it a thing? Is it? It is an item. It is an item. It can be. Can it be held? Yes, it can. Okay. Um, is this like something? Within the last few years, new or something long running? It is new. Yeah. It's new. Ish. New. Within the last few years. New ish. Um, is it like a phenomenon? <laughs> like something that mul- like every oh, everyone's doing that thing now. No. Okay. So does it have to do with a specific group or person? Yes. It has to do with a specific group. Group. Okay. Um, is it something like 2 p.m. go to the military? Like something that we like say a bunch of like, no, it's something you can hold. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. All right. It's something you can hold. Um, is it a living thing? 
No, no. Good question, though. Is it like a piece of technology? Mm. No, no. It doesn't have computer chips in it. Okay. It doesn't have computer chips in it. Can you wear it? Mm, actually, yeah, I think you can. I think you can wear it. Mm. But it's not meant to be worn. Okay. You technically could put it on, but yeah. it's not meant to be worn. Okay. Something we talked about a lot. Does it have to do... But we, we've talked about it before. We... we you're adding a lot. Okay. We haven't talked about it a lot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> We've talked about it We've before. Talked about it. Something relatively new. Did we say already if it has to do with a group or a person? or It has to do with a specific group. Specific it group. is something you can hold. You could wear it, but it's not meant to be worn. Um, is it like a prop or something that has to do with a specific comeback or something? It doesn't have to do with a specific comeback, but a prop is a good word for it. Is it like, um, no, backpacks are meant to be worn. Mm. What's a, what's a good question I could ask? <sighs> group. Is it, is it an SM group? Yes. Yes. Is it EXO? No. Is it shiny? Yes. Okay. Shiny thing. That's meant to be worn. Mm -mm. Not meant to be worn. Can, could be worn. You mm -hmm. could hold it. Can be worn. Meant to be held, I suppose. Meant to be held. Shiny thing. And it has a specific name. The Shotting Star. Yeah! Star in my notebook. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, that's the name of Shiny's light stick. It's, it's called so the Shatting sad. Star. It's so sad. <laughs> it's a very pretty light stick, but it's it is a gorgeous. very stupid name, name for a light stick. Oh my god, that was really fun. Yay! I'm glad I we hope, made that work. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to it and playing along. Yeah, I want to um, believe that a bunch of people were screaming at their phones like they yeah. cuz they had figured it out after four questions. Or that they were giving their own If you guys guessed something that you think fit the questions we asked and have like an alternative answer. <laughs> I want to know what yeah, they no, were. Yeah, no, please. I want to know what they were. Do you want to share any ones you didn't get oh, me sure. or do, or should we say like, because yeah. the only two I didn't get to were Key's eye patch, but I felt oh, it was too one. similar to the blindfolds. Like yeah, yeah, the yeah. questions would have been the same. And then my, I, the monster high five was the other thing oh, I had because that's like a specific choreo good I one. love. I have um, that picture of you know playing air guitar. <laughs> It's new. It's bad. Chang means legs in Italy. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> Ming Hao's mullet. Mermaid pants. Oh, mermaid pants. Solar's butt pad. Oh, God. Kwasa's nails. We got married just in general. Uh -huh. And then also was like, oh, maybe like I could get her to guess Timmin and Nan or Kuntoria. And then I also thought Mino on We Got Married. Like, to try and get you to guess, uh, like, that specific appearance. I also had um, Lay's Justin Bieber hair and b-ball hoodie from Call Me Baby. That was my moment. I know. That's why I wrote it down. I love it. I, I came up with things that are specific for you, such as I Am's painted nails. Ooh. Bomi's blonde ombre. Oh, my God. Girls' feels... Generation's power shorts. This is making me feel so <laughs> seen. And then I have, like, the Lionheart flapper dress and... Uh, Rocky's tattoo. <laughs> Chan Hun. That's it. Love it. I love it. This was really fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Le yeah, like I said earlier, I had I had bucket. I had bucket hat. I had bucket hat. Oh, bucket hat is a good out. one. That's a good one. Um, all right. That was super fun. And remember, you can always play 20 questions anywhere, wherever yeah. whoever you want. It's a good parlor game and you could make it if you were playing when you didn't if you were playing with someone who's not your weird best friend that you could read their <laughs> mind you could play it much simpler if you yeah you could I, we specifically were like well let's not think of like a group or a you know person, i wasn't we'll like trying to fast. get you to guess monster x i was trying to get you to guess juan's dimples right <laughs> it's like 
because we're K-pop experts and we had to make it hard for us. Yeah, so play at whatever <laughs> level you need. Uh, and we'll be right back with our random game. All right, we're back. And this week, we've got a solo artist that we have covered before, but mm -hmm. it's always good to come back to the greats, and that is Lee Hyori. Yeah, we talked about her. We went, like, in-depth about... Well, we've talked about her a lot of a times, A couple of actually, times. Because we mentioned her first, I think, in one of our, like, first, first generation, generation Because she was in the girl group Finkel, mm -hmm. which is a... Or first gen classic. Yeah, foundational girl group of original, like, you know, K-pop OG. Um, and then when we did our solo artist episode, we also do dove into her solo career because she went from Finkel to being one of the, like, one of, if not the biggest yeah. sol female solo artists of K-pop. We even said, and I'll say it again, in 2013, they, like, it was established in the media that people had Hyori syndrome. Ooh. Or was it 2003? Nah. Now I feel like I'm making up years. But there was a point where people, where like it was a thing in the media that people said they had Hyori syndrome mm -hmm. because people were so obsessed with her. Um, I think we've compared her to like a Britney type in that like yeah. she was a cool solo artist and she like always showed her cool tummy and yeah. she was just like cooler than everyone yeah or like a, a j i was gonna say j-lo because there is a music video of hers that's very Ten minutes, similar which to, i love to a j-lo video um but i also almost want to say like beyonce because she started out in a girl group yeah um, and i would say she was like the leader of the girl group or she was like the the like she was definitely star. the star um, and then she like parlayed that into a solo career, um, which is still going strong. I mean, she's definitely still uh, she hasn't made music in a little while, um, but she's definitely still around. Like she had that Netflix TV show. Yes, she has a show um, that I believe unfortunately had to be canceled because of people not leaving them alone. But yeah, her and her husband like had a bed and breakfast in Jeju Island and they mm -hmm. had a reality show about it. But like last I heard, like so many people would just like show up and hop the fence and trample the grounds and take pictures of the place and like get in the way of the film crew that I think they had to scrap the show and she like moved they moved back to Seoul or something because everyone wrecked it that's such a which shame. is such a shame but yeah she's like married to like a cool rocker guy and he's mm -hmm. like a perfect wonderful husband and they have a million rescue dogs and she loves yoga and like and she's just know. living she's her just life great. and she's been a uh, queen on this k-pop stage since 1998 um which is older than some of you <laughs> and uh yeah that's i don't know if you want to learn more about her and her discography please listen to our solo artist episode yeah and uh i think we're gonna get to watch um yeah her most popular music video which is how we decide what to watch during these random mm -hmm. game segments uh, is a song called bad girls uh and it came out in 2013 um, and yeah, you want to just watch Let's it? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Here comes Lee Hiori. Bad girls. Okay. Mm. Ambulance in an all white room. Oh no, a oh, pregnant dear. lady. Woman in labor coming out of the ambulance. Oh dear. She has cool high heels on. I know, but this woman is screaming and hitting her husband. Oh, she pulled his wig off. <laughs> This is funny. Oh no. Oh dear, the, the mom died after giving the baby. Holy crap. And the baby oh my has God. bad makeup <laughs> on. <laughs> the baby doll has these like crazy eyebrows. And so does the little girl version. Oh my God, there's a tiny baby wearing oh massive my God. eyebrows. Oh, and there's a stepmom in a big yellow coat. It's like, call me mom. <gasps> I love this song and wow, this fucking music video. Okay, Hyori is the mean stepmom, but she has very big eyebrows and a fake mole, like mole. And the little girl has these like insane eyebrows that just give like a like a piercing. But she's stare a bad to the girl. Camera. She's like torturing her teddy bears and wearing makeup. <laughs> Oh, and as she, okay, so we're following this girl as she like grows up. And now she's in upper elementary school, I would say. And she sicked a dog on the bad kids of, of the kids and at school. And you know she's days. bad because she crimps her hair. Oh no, now she's in high school and she's slingshotting the teacher. This whole music video also has the aesthetic of like, uh, 
comic comics. Everyone has speech bubbles and they're like narrating. The, oh no, Ew, a creepy teacher is being teacher. creepy. I hope she kills him. And I yes. think she might. That seems to be like where this is going. Yes. I love that that woman. Ah, her eyebrows are attached to her glasses. <laughs> Oh, so many the gross boy. boys that she has to deal with. Lifted Someone just came shirt. up and, yes, tossed some TNT in those motherfuckers. Oh, she blew up the kids at school with dynamite. <laughs> well, now she's a senior and everybody's. And you can't tell her what to do. The bad girl is like now plotting revenge on the good girl who the teacher likes. <laughs> because the only reason she likes her is because her mom bribed her. There's a lot going on in this. I know. Ooh, now she's 24. And there's gross executives that are talking about her, her measurements. <gasps> oh my god, did she just do a, a basic a instinct six. and show them her? Yeah! Ah! She showed them her so Oh my god, Yuri! Icon. Who else? Oh, yeah. TNT. She keeps blowing up all these Stick men. That I TNT love it. Everywhere. There's a mean boyfriend hitting his girlfriend in the park. Blow him up. Take TNT. Yes. <laughs> she just flipped him over. No monsters, no violence. Oh, now there's a one billion reward, dollar reward for Yuri to be taken <laughs> in by this sexy lady cop. Are they gonna kiss? They're looking at each other. I know, crazy. right? They're both like, we love this. <laughs> oh, let's do it one more time. Those gloves were really cool. Fingerless leather but gloves. But they had like a, they were like made of like a bow. Oh. They like looked really neat. Oh, did she recruit? The <gasps> she handcuffed herself to the lady cop. They're a team now. Oh, no, I guess no, she's she just, just got arrested. But they looked like they liked it. Yeah. She didn't look mad about oh, it. Oh, wow. Yay! Wow. And YouTube wants to play lip and hip now. It knows what it knows. It what's knows going what's on. up. We need um, some badass ladies. Ooh, another thing I can say, uh, if you want to look it up, show new pre Monster X Days was one of Fiori's backup dancers. Oh yeah. Um, and there's lots of really great videos of him in mesh and tank tops and stuff, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. getting danced up on by her. <laughs> yeah, great. especially because he was one of he was one of the backup dancers because he has like a very pretty face. If there's any moves where she like needs a boy partner to grab he's, or dip her or whatever yeah like he's usually the one because he's the prettiest yeah um so that's really so fun. that's something to look out for if you want to if you're trying to bring the modern in like there's a way to do it but yeah. truly she's great and i think i've said it before but one of her songs from way back in the day called 10 minutes is like a perfect pop song and mm -hmm. it's so good. And that's the music video that's very J-Lo. Yes. Because she has like yeah. tank tops and like low rise jeans and it looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it looks very much like, like that. Jersey handkerchief top. Yeah, yeah, whatever. those handkerchief yeah. tops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Recommendation time. You go first. I'll go first. Okay. As always, I'm coming to you from the past. So I hope that by the time you are hearing this, that this song is everywhere and maybe it's won an award or something. But WJSN slash the Cosmic Girls have a new summer album out right now. And the single is called Boogie Up. Mm. And it's just extremely fun girl group summer music. The chorus, I thought it was interesting because two weeks ago when we were watching that 2009 video, we were saying like people don't make catchy choruses anymore that other people can dance yeah. to. And I feel like this WJSN song is sort of bringing that back oh cool it, it's sort of it's giving me like a sister vibe that i've missed very much and the like the chorus choreo is truly just like a 
a whole like a body roll wiggle mm. and they like move their hands different but it's the same move like over and over again and it's just like boogie up and it's just fun and it's a good song nice. to usher in summer um so yeah that's my recommendation i will inspired by your recommendation i will also recommend a girl group um although this is not a dance that the average person <laughs> could do. I want to recommend the CLC me dance practice. Um, I have seen stages of this where they like absolutely kill it, but the dance practice video, obviously you get to like see all the choreography and they're phenomenal dancers. And this song is like tough in that hobgoblin way that I love. Um, and I think it's like catchier than no. Yeah. Is. We haven't, we like, it, it's, it's so funny when like comebacks, like don't line up with our recording schedule. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Sometimes we just forget Don't to talk, get to about, talk them. about them. Stuff. But yeah, CLC came back a little while ago. And yeah. I do. Uh, one of our listeners like asked me to try to like rank the last three CLC comebacks. And while I hated no initially, it mm -hmm. like really, really grew on me. Yeah. Um, but I think I like this one a little more than Black Dress. Mm. But maybe yeah. a little less than no. I'm not sure. But it's good. They're like CLC is, I think, maybe finally figuring finding out what they're who they are yeah and finding their aesthetic their style um if i had to rank those three i would say it would go me black dress and no mm -hmm. um i really like this one i really do i think it's it's one of their like catchier songs um, and they also have in the music video they have that blazer power short look that i love yes, so much yes and they're very like they've really stuck with this like tough girl image that I like a lot yeah and like Yoon still has that like blonde amazing short haircuts. chop bob oh, that's love so that cool haircut. it looks so good I'm glad she kept it like it. Yeah. this is my haircut now me too like, yeah me too. Great recommendation. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, if you would like to follow what we're up to during the week or talk to us in any way, you can find us on social media at AMA K pop pod on Twitter and Instagram, AMA K pop pod at gmail.com to send us an email, AMA K pop pod at .com for links. If I up, Upload them and ask me about K-pop, the podcast on YouTube. And I never do this and I should do it earlier on and like whatever. Most people remember to do it in every podcast, but I hate begging. But if you listen to this podcast and you like it, you should leave us a rating or a review on whatever app you listen to because it means a lot. And also Apple and Spotify are like completely redoing their podcast stuff soon so it might mean more than it used to very soon here so i don't know if you care about us just plop a review in there yeah. it like it bumps the show up in the charts so that more people can find us that's all yeah tell us what you think <laughs> tell us what you think but please be nice please yeah if you're gonna say something mean then send it in an email <laughs> <laughs> don't because then i can trash it <laughs> just, just don't don't publicly please don't publicly <laughs> shame me please if, if something's wrong then then tell us in private <laughs> <laughs> we just don't understand uh anyway all right that's that we'll be back next week i don't know what but i feel like it might be coming up on like group deep dive time again so we'll see or movie club or a movie club we might gotta watch that we might gotta watch that wonder girls movie i don't <laughs> yeah, know we'll see we might gotta we might gotta so subscribe <laughs> and come back and we'll see you next week goodbye jongyeon your inspiration all right we're rolling great <clears throat> Rolling, rolling, rolling. Do you remember that song? Keep those prices rolling. <laughs> That's what the Walmart, the Walmart <laughs> roll back. Yeah. Oh, yeah.